Hey everyone. So it's been about a week since I like started making stuff, like just making a lot of a lot a lot a lot a lot of YouTube videos, right? And I have to say, I'm really happy with the progress I'm making. I'm really happy with like I think I have something like um, seven or six unposted videos at the end of the week, posting two to three a day. So I'm, I'm really happy with that. But one of the things that I really noticed um, going on with this, I guess this is week two of this working really hard, is that I, I really um, have been working on other good habits too. And it's been like, I don't even have to think about it, I'm working on it. So like, let's just say eating healthy, right? I'm like, sometimes I still, I, I'm not the healthiest eater, but I, I'm not a bad eater either, either, right? And it's like today, I made, I was like, what do I want to eat for lunch? And I was like, oh, I got this chicken thing and I got this rice thing. And if I wasn't, like, normally it'd be something more like ramen, Right, ramen's got fat in it, more fat than usual. Just little, little things like that, like slowly changing all these other um, habits. And I look really tired now, I'm actually not. Um, I'm just slowly, slowly, slowly changing all of these habits that are not necessarily good or bad, but just making them better, right? I'm going more efficient too. Like just now I was making um, lunch and I was like, going on my phone and I'm like, do I want to watch this YouTube video? It was about like EA or something in foreign countries and breaking the law. I'm like, no, I want to work on this other project I've been working on. And, you know, little things like that where, well, I'm making the right decision and it's really working out for me. And even though within the right decision, I might be a little bit lazy still, it's still like, I don't know, if I feel like I can do anything now. Like, I just feel like I feel like if I got addicted to like heroin or something tomorrow, that the next day I could like quit. Something crazy, stupidly crazy like that. I just feel like if I want to build a good habit, I could build a good habit. If I want to stop a bad habit, I'll just straight up stop a bad habit. All right. Even the other day I was playing Siege with Ragnar. We were just not getting matched with very good players. And he was getting way more pissed off than I was. And it was really weird because I was like, every round it was like, what am I going to do? And Rag's like, what are they going to do? You know, like little things like that. There was even a round where I like clutched it and Rag did too. But it's because I was busy figuring out the other people, the enemies, and not worrying about my teammates. And it was, it's been really weird. I've been really happy too. I've been way happy. Like, I have been tired, yes, I, you know, of course I get more tired, but I've just been in a good mood, it feels like nothing is going wrong, even like, I was worrying about like some Amazon thing I have to end up paying, right, like $65 in advertising or something, normally it'd stress me out, I don't care, you know, I don't know, it's weird, so that's all I wanted to say for this video this vlog is that the effects of working on what like just making content oh one more thing and I, I'm sorry I'm gonna get back into D live and I haven't said anything about this but I noticed that along with working really okay this is something important We're working really really hard on YouTube videos I've kind of done the last push to disassociate money with success. So I was always worried about how much money I'm making, that's how successful I am. I got rid of it and realized that's why I quit DLive, was because I thought money was success and the Steam price was going down. Cryptocurrency prices were going down. So I was like, oh, that makes perfect sense. So, man, look at that. Look at that floof and hair and stuff, man. I'll get a haircut tomorrow. But I was like, you know, I actually really liked DLive. I liked DLive because there was no stress of like following rules or anything like that. You know, and frankly, I was worried about the community and stuff. But what with people that have finally left because of the cryptocurrency prices, the community there is actually really good. So I'm start I'm like starting that up too. Like even though the you know, just to make some extra cash, 
savings, you know? Because now that I disassociate money with success, I'm like, well, I know, though, that if I have all this steam saved up, my, I, I was worried about, like, oh, my parents think steam is not money, and da, 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 you can exchange it for money, and it's fine. Like, I don't know. I, was, I guess what I'm trying to say is I was worried too much about everyone judging me. That's why I quit D-Live, and I'm back to it. So, and if you want to watch me just in my element, not being turned on in live streaming, but just live streaming normal games, that's what I'll be doing. But that's going to be it for this vlog. I'm just really happy. Nothing worries me anymore. I don't know. It's weird, but I am Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I'll see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog of whatever I decide to make.